Okay, so we can see here a couple of specimens in the dish. The paraffin starting to cool on the top and the bottom. Real important at this point to keep it from cooling on the top. So one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it onto the ambient portion of the plate. And you should be able to see here that it's actually starting to solidify on the bottom. Just angle this so you can get a better shot of it. got some solidification of the paraffin going on here. I'm going to flash the top and thank goodness for edits. Flash my probe. I'm going to set my probe in here. What you do, what you want to do is essentially just nudge the specimen up above the solidifying layer of paraffin. Ideally, you don't have to dislodge it from the paraffin so long as you move it frequently enough during the drying process and you should be good to go. Here you can see the paraffin starting to solidify on the top again. Flash it with the burner, hit my probe once more with the burner. And I'm going to wiggle this bugger around a little bit. And this part takes some patience. What you can be doing while this is going on, of course, is setting up another dish, pouring paraffin in it, and getting your next batch of specimens ready to go. This is all hurry up and wait at this point in time. The ultimate goal, of course, is to get the specimens here moved up in the paraffin column as it dries. Wind up with it about halfway up the dish so that you've got a nice thick layer of paraffin on both sides of the specimen and of course notice plenty of room around each one to be able to cut them out from one another and mount them on blocks for section. As I mentioned, the more you stay on top of moving these up as the paraffin solidifies underneath them, the less of a chance you'll have to dislodge them. It's going to leave cracks in the paraffin, which is, needless to say, undesirable. You want to be able to have nice clean, smooth, unblemished paraffin from the top to the bottom of the casted plate by the time it's done.